Welcome to 7th grade math, the flipped classroom. This is your first video experience on YouTube watching Mrs. Agulia's 7th grade math class. So you can see here that I've given you a set of the notes that we're going to follow along with this video. And that's usually what happens. You have a set of notes or you're going to take notes. This time you have a set of notes. Remember, you can pause, stop, at any time. If you think I'm going too quickly, feel free to do that or you can use this video as a review. So let's get started. This is 1E rates. It's um, 7RP1, meaning ratio and proportionality, the standard one. It's in your grade 6, that pink textbook that you had last year, chapter 5. So if you need help with this, that's where you go for help. Grade 6, pink book, chapter 5. The meaning of a rate, you can use a ratio to compare two quantities that have the same units, like the boys and the girls on the bus problems that we've been doing, or Sam has more clothes in his suitcase than Timmy. Sam and Timmy, we're talking about clothes. A ratio compares two quantities that have the same unit. For instance here, this is a ratio problem. In the ratio here, we have A being 80 centimeters and B being 92 centimeters. So the ratio of A to B is 80 to 92, or I could divide both by 2 and say 40 to 46, or I could put it in lowest terms, 20 to 23. When you're talking about ratios, you don't have to say 80 centimeters to 92 centimeters. We just say 80 to 92. We've been doing ratios thus far. A rate, when you use a rate, or you can use a rate to compare two quantities, a rate to compare two quantities that have different units, such as money and time, or distance and time, or jelly beans and students. You're not measuring the same thing. For example, here's one. If Sarah earns $23 in one hour, you can use the rate of $23 per hour or 23 over $23 over one hour to describe how much she earns in one hour. This rate can be written as $23 per hour. That's the two labels there. They always have two labels because you're talking about two different measurements or two different units. One of the units is money. One of the things that I'm measuring, units of measure, is time. I'm measuring money and I'm measuring time. Two labels. Important to know, with the rates, we have two labels. The rate $23 per hour is an example of a unit rate. A unit rate, unit, unit, like unicycle, means one compares a quantity to one unit. The symbol slash also means the word per. So if you don't want to write out the word per, you could use the word slash, or the symbol, sorry, slash. The next page in your notes goes on to show some how do you get a unit rate. Express and compute unit rates in terms of time and other quantities. Nick fills 24 bottles in 8 minutes. He must be helping with the football team or something. He's filling bottles of water. At what rate are the bottles being filled with water? Here's our bar modeling. 24 bottles in 8 minutes. So the bars are representing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the 8 minutes. All together, there's 24 bottles. So what would it be for one bottle for one minute? In one minute, sorry, one minute, for in one minute, 24 divided by 8, I would get three bottles. So he can fill 24 bottles in eight minutes, which is equivalent to three bottles in one minute. The next example here, we see um, in example two, might as well number these, this was example one. Number two, a photocopy machine can print 405 copies in nine minutes like the big super copiers we have here. What is the rate at which the machine prints the copies? Meaning, what is it for one? In one minute, how many copies can be printed? If 405 copies, 
can be printed in nine minutes. So it takes nine minutes, and you're filling in now, to make 405 copies. One minute would be 405 divided by 9, which gives us 45. If you take out a calculator, you would get 45 copies in one minute. So 405 copies in 9 minutes, 9 bars drawn here, by the way, what would it be for 1 minute? Divide by that 9, you're going to get 45 copies per 1 minute. So the machine prints the copies at a rate of 45 copies. There's one label per one minute. There's your second label. Rates always have two labels, two labels. This is number three. Please number it number three if I haven't already on your notes. Um, the sports center buys one and twenty-five hundredths acres, so a little bit more of an acre of land for a new swimming complex. What is the cost per acre? Cost per acre. My money cost divided by the acres. So I'm going to take the cost, the $100,000, and I'm going to divide it by 1 and 2.5 acres. I could bar model this. One acre plus the 25th hundredths that we have left over has to equal 100,000. I could bar model this. So what would it be for one? That's what we've been doing. We've been actually finding rates. We just didn't know it. So the cost divided by the acre, if I took 100,000 and divided it by 1.25, I'm going to get 80,000. $80,000 per one acre. I'm going to put my labels on, two labels. Rates always have two labels. Dollar sign, acre. So you're filling in your notes as I'm going over this. That's what you do on the videos. A few years ago, number four as you can see, a few years ago when the fuel tank in Sally's car was completely empty, no gas, she paid $63 to fill the tank with 22 and a half gallons of gas. What was the cost per gallon? Okay, 22 and a half gallons of gasoline. I could draw 22 and a half bars. Who wants to draw 22 and a half bars? Not me representing $63, but I could, I could draw that and have 22 of them plus another little half. No, 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 I don't want to do that, but we could bar model this. So we have 22 and a half gallons of gas for the $63. Cost goes on the top. Cost comes first. Cost per gallon. Per means divide in math. Cost per gallon. So I'm going to take my oops, cost and divide it by my gallon. And I get my cost of $63 divided by that 22 and a half gallons. Take out my handy dandy calculator and I get $2.80 per gallon, 280. Oh, I wish it was 280. Not 280 right now. It's more like 360. Um, so yes, at the time when this problem was made, the gas was $2.80 per gallon. Putting in 22 and a half gallons is going to get you $63 for the cost, cost per gallon. You have to pay attention to the rate. The order of the rate is how you divide. It's not 22 and a half divided by 63. So pay attention to the rate. Oh, there's special rates. And it has to do with distance, speed, and time. You know, the faster you run, right, the more distance you go. And the better time you're going to have, right? So Joyce is climbing up a steep trail. Oh, she climbs three-fourths of a mile in a half an hour. Find her climbing speed in miles per hour. 
miles per hour. Find her speed, miles divided by hours. Well, the miles, ooh, not a whole number. It's three-fourths. Three-fourths of a mile. Here's our bar model for us. And she only did it in half of an hour, not a whole hour. Half of the bar is missing because she only did half of an hour. Three-fourths of a mile per half an hour. Well, I want this to be one. I want this to be one hour, not a half of an hour. So, yes, if I multiply this by two and I multiply this by two, a half times two is two halves, which equals a whole, right? Oops, got my equal sign in the way there. And three-fourths times two, it's like being two over one, gives me six-fourths. So I get six-fourths, six-fourths. There's the three-fourths that are doing it down here a little bit differently. They're multiplying by two, though. The other way I could do this is just take out my calculator and do three-fourths divided by one-half, and it will give me six-fourths for one hour. Six fourths of a mile. Well, six fourths, that's an improper fraction. That equals one and two fourths, which is the same thing as you can see over here. They did it for us. They reduced it to one and a half. One and one half miles per hour. Well, we know an abbreviation for that. It's called MPH. I know you guys have seen this on road signs. You can drive 35 miles per hour. On the throughway, you can drive 65 miles per hour miles per hour. Otherwise, if I wanted to write miles, that would be mi per hour. I could do that abbreviation as well. Miles per hour, much faster. And the very last one, number six here. A car travels a fourth of a kilometer in half of a minute. Find the speed of the car in kilometers per minute, meaning one minute. One minute. So I take my one-fourth and I kilometers that's the one-fourth per half a minute. Well, I want to know what is it for one minute. Again, I could, easiest way to do this is literally to multiply by two. Well, a half times two, two halves makes a whole sandwich, remember? One. And one-fourth times two makes two-fourths, which is the same thing as one-half. So my rate is, this. remember this was the kilometers, km means kilometers, per, and this was the hours, hour. Again, there's a well-known rate for that, one-half kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour, and usually it's kph, just like ours is miles per hour, mph, kilometers, and, and for instance, in Canada, you say, you see KPH on their road signs. So she can travel, this car can travel half of a kilometer per one hour. Um, and that's it for today. Thank you for filling in your notes, and we'll work on some classwork.